Katzgeier Gallery on the second floor of the Jewish Community Center of San Francisco is thrilled to have a, our current show, which is called um, The Actor Backstage, and it's the art and drawings of uh, the great Zero Mostel. A lot of people don't know that Zero Mostel, who was uh, a great superstar on stage and screen, who is best known as originating the role of Tevya on the, the original Broadway production of Fiddler on the Roof, and um, was uh, the original uh, Pseudolus in a Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, and did that on film as well, um, that he was a, a prolific artist, and indeed um, started out as an artist. He was a uh, trained um, uh, through the WPA, the Works Progress Administration, during the 30s, and went to NYU um, to and got uh, courses toward a master's uh, of arts and actually taught art. And it was when he was teaching art that people said, gee, this guy's really funny. Um, his name was Samuel Joel Mostel, and um, some guy who hired him to do comedy said, you know, this guy comes from nothing. And it comes from nothing came the nickname Zero, which became his stage name. So he painted and drew for over 30 years, thousands and thousands of pieces of art. And um, you can see in his work the progression of styles, which is really interesting. There's work that looks like Miro, there's work that looks like Picasso, there's work that looks like Matisse. The work I'm standing by, uh, in front of here, this beautiful um, um, nude woman who's reclining, it, it looks like Matisse, but it also looks like Rouault, whose work kind of looked like uh, stained glass windows with great coloring. His politics were left-leaning, and um, he was on the list of people that uh, that senator from Wisconsin, Joseph McCarthy, listed as people who were branded quote-unquote commies or pinkos or whatever, people that um, were prohibited from working um, on stage and screen, and so as part of this phenomenon called the Hollywood blacklist. So if you look at some of Zero's work, um, you can see that there's a clown, but this clown is very frightened or um, he's angry. There's another piece that's called, uh, it looks like kind of like stained glass windows and there's texture on it and it's colorful, but it's called In Jail with a rosy outlook. Piece I always think it's kind of funny because you look at it and um, try and figure out what it is and when we were analyzing it, um, it, it, there, you look at, it looks like you're sitting, there are creatures and they're sitting around a table. And um, then it uh, struck me that there's this iconic joke piece of bad art, which are the, the dogs sitting around the table playing poker. Mm -hmm. You know that piece of art that ever, that's kitchen that everybody's seen? Mm -hmm. That looks, the coloration, the palette is very much like that. And there are these creatures. But doesn't it look like the uh, Seder plate in the middle? Oh, it could be a Seder plate. That never occurred to me. The there you go. Oh, there's yeah, something else. There's, there's some, some creature. Exactly. I guess I don't know. See it on you. It seems. Exactly. Um, the creatures are funny looking, um, yeah. and I guess it was the tongue on the table that made me think that maybe it was a dog oh. and something that kind of appeared to be tails. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it could be a Seder plate. I'd never thought of it's, that. It looks like a person, and that, well, that's definitely animal, but sometimes people are animals. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, yeah. it, you yeah, know, it just seems to me, I mean, it's, it's um, fascinating. Every time I, I one of the reasons I love this exhibition is every single time I look at the paintings, I see something else.